Martin right now, four goals, eight points. His line responsible for all kinds of points, 26 of them to be exact. Here's a centering pass that goes all the way through, a shot off the side of the net. It bounces in off a of Kappelmaster's left skate, and he can't believe what just happened. The Bobcats have scored a very unorthodox, unorthodox goal to start this hockey game, and it's 1-0 Bismarck. Exactly one minute and 18 seconds into this game. Spins, shoots, Shepard the save. Rebound knocked loose, Lazarus first to the puck. Looks for an option, finds Dalton at the blue line. Long shot, score! Jake Dalton with a bullet, his first goal in 35 games. What a BB from Jake Dalton, and he ties this game up. Just minutes after the Bobcats scored a very fortunate goal, and it's 1-1. Ready to work this puck out. Outlet pass finds Willie Brown behind the defense. He's in to the backhand, stopped by Kappelmaster. His first big save of this hockey game. Flashing the right pad, denied Willie Brown, who leads the Bobcats in postseason scoring. Van Wy with an outlet pass finds Ryan Burnett. He breaks down his off wing across the Bobcat line, pressured by Bismarck captain Cole Soto. Now three players on him. Burnett somehow managed to find Goodzer. He walks in, gave it across, not in the wheelhouse of Van Wy. It hit his skate, and he went down. Burnett unloads, it was blocked. Now it's Trent Dillinger, lost it at the blue line, breaking there through center, it's another breakaway for Brown, he's in, he shoots, and he scores. Willie Brown, second time's the charm for him, he's had two breakaways, he was denied on the first one by Kappelmaster's right pad, but he comes through, comes up big for the Bobcats on the second one. And uh, Willie Brown has got his 14th point in the postseason, his fourth goal. And the Bobcats have regained the lead. Cats are right back out to the neutral zone. Van Wy is onside. Burnett goes to the goal. Nick Wallace with a good back check. Bad turnover. Poikola across. Stuff attempt denied by Shepard's right pad. Rolls loose and Demel having to kick it to his skate again. Burnett shoveling it away from him. And Gilraith playing very deep. Gets it up to good sir. He will put it back down there. Van Wy, Cats cycling the wagons, applying some pressure. Gilraith long shot tip, they score! Ryan Burnett tipped it out in front. Two Cats who had not scored a goal in a very long time have both come up big tonight, folks. And this game is all tied up at two. Met by Alexander, he will clear. Poikola having to hustle back, could be a two on one. Great back check by Alexi Poikola. What a defensive play made by Alexi. Burnett goes crashing into the end boards. Here's Van Wy, had it pried loose. Here comes Frankie Melton. He could have a breakaway. Frankie Melton in, shoots, mask saved by Kappelmaster. Wildcats' most recent goal was a deflection taken by Gilraith. Here's a chance on a breakaway. Left pad saved by Kappelmaster as he robs Peter von Steinbergs and keeps this game tied. Just a partial line change. Parker mismatched with a mishandle. And now here comes Ryan Burnett. Pass was for Goodsir, who didn't know it. Burnett wheels his way in, backhands a shot. Blocker saves Shepard. Fresh off the bench, it's Dalton. Will he shoot? No. He rattles it deep. Van Wy waiting for it behind the Bobcats net. Burnett drives, scores! <laughs> Ryan Burnett's got his second goal of the night. And he regains the lead. No, he gains the lead for Wichita Falls, their first lead of this hockey game. Set up beautifully by Garrett Van Wy. And it's 3-2, Wichita Falls with just two and a half to go in period three. In the corner, Bolio's out instead of Johnny Lazarus here. Rosa muddling things up with, with Bolio and Baum. They shovel away. The Bobcats try to get one last shot. Devils shoots, stopped by Kappelmaster with the neck, and the rebound pops loose, but it's over. Time has expired, and the Wichita Falls Wildcats have won game one of the Robertson Cup semifinals in Edina, Minnesota. They take a one to nothing lead in the series against the Bismarck Bobcats and will play game two right back here tomorrow night. Same time, same place, 7.30 p.m. They can eliminate Bismarck tomorrow and advance to the Robertson Cup Championship with one more victory in this series. If Bismarck wins tomorrow night, the series will be pushed to a pivotal game three.